Hi Bobcats, it's Miss Lee and this video just contains some word problem practice for combining integers. We want you to have an opportunity to practice on your own to make sure that you have good understanding of how to find those clue words telling you if it's a positive or negative number and how to combine positive and negative numbers. So here we go. Our first problem. A shark swims at a depth of 270 feet below sea level. After spotting a sea lion, the shark moves 190 feet closer to the surface. What is the shark's new depth? Okay, so what I'd like for you to do is to go through, highlight, underline, or circle those clue words that tell you if each number is a positive or a negative integer. Then write an expression and then solve it and determine your answer. So you can pause the video. This problem is in your notes. Work it in your notes. When you have your answer, come back and check. Okay, the correct answer is negative 85 feet. 85 feet below sea level. How did you do? If you got it right, then you can move on to the next problem. If you got it wrong, then I would like for you to pause the video and take a look at the work that has been done here to see if you can find where your mistake was made. If you have questions, please ask your teacher. Problem number two. On May 1st, Laura had a checking account balance of $1,500. Over the month, she wrote two checks and made an ATM withdrawal for a total of $750. She also made two deposits, one for $375 and the other for $1,125. Which model represents Laura's checking account balance at the end of the month? Okay, this is a number line model. You may need to go back to the number line examples that we did in your notes. But I want you to go through the word problem, identify those clue words that are telling you if the integers are positive or negative, right and then look at the number lines and see if you can find the number lines that match. So pause the video, once you have your answer, come back and check. Okay, did you get answer C? This was the correct number line model that represents this problem. If you did, great job, move on to the next example. If not, go ahead and pause the video and take a look at the work that has been done here. Look at the clue words, look at the expression, look at the different answer choices, and see if you can find where your mistake was. Can't find your mistake or you still have questions, please talk to your teacher. Okay, next example. Monty earned 55 points in the first round of his video game. He then lost 40 points, earned 88 points, then lost 35 more points. What was his final score? So pause the video, solve this problem, come back and check your answer. Did you get 68 points? If you did, great job, move on to the last problem. If not, pause the video, take a look at the work that's been done, see if you can find your mistake. If you have any questions, please let your teacher know. And, our, and that was it for our examples. Good job, Bobcats.